Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you some things I've been playing with with additive synthesis. I've done some videos before about this, but I thought I'd do some, uh, I guess, a new one about some different things on how you can use plucks or you can create some kind of like sci fi sounding sounds with it. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is move down this attack here. Uh, I'm going to move up the sustain, make sure the gain's down because this can get a little bit loud. I also recommend maybe using a limiter. Uh, but let's start using the additive module here. I'll turn the harmonics up to 32. You can do as many as you want. I don't want to use too many because it's just going to use more CPU. Uh, but turn this down. This is what it sounds like. Actually, I have the octave way lower here. There we go. So that gives you an idea of the sound. Uh, what I have it set as now, I'm using the structures. And I'll show you how you can kind of play with these. Uh, right now it's on A. If you look at the structure, these are what the harmonics look like. You see every single one's the same exact uh, volume. Uh, this is okay, but it makes things sound really sharp. What I want to do is actually change this to something else, like a saw. So now this should sound a little bit more, I guess, natural. Okay. Now, we can play with that and we can use any kind of other waveform if we want, but let's leave it there for now and let's make this into kind of like a pluck sound. So I'm going to turn down the volume here. Actually, let's turn this up a bit. Let's use a filter. So you could just do it using the volume, but I, I want to you know, kind of play with the filters here. Uh, leave it here. Turn the resonance like this. Okay, we have our low pass. Now let's just use a filter sweep. I'll use attack two here. Yeah, about 500 seems good, like that. Turn the depth up. This is okay. Now what I want to do here is do something similar, except I want to use two different structures. So I have A here, which sounds like our normal saw. This just sounds like subtractive synthesis. Now let's move it to B, and let's try something different. Uh, let's see what I have in here. Let's try wood and see what this sounds like. A little bit too loud. I'll turn it down. And it's like, okay, we have saw, wood. Sounds more like glass to me, but that's beyond the point. Let's move it to A, and what I want to do now is, instead of what I did in a previous video where I had it where each time I hit it, it would move to a different spot here, kind of randomize it, so I'd hit it, and it would do something like this. I showed that in a previous video, but this time I want to have this actually move from B to A very quickly, and I can use attack one to do that. So what I'm going to do is have this modulate from B to A in about, I guess, 100 milliseconds, maybe a little bit over 100 milliseconds, 150, a little bit more. Move this, the depth, all the way up to 100% like this. And let's hear it now. Now, I'm getting a little bit of a different texture. If I want more of that, I can extend the time of this, like this. Okay, I can't play, but uh, you get the idea. And it has that glassy top end, but then when it gets to the bottom, you hear more of the saw come out. But if I change B, we can get even more like interesting and crazy sounds. Let's try plastic. Let me try some instruments here, let's see what the accordion sounds like. Either bell. That's cool, the timpani actually almost sounds like a timpani if I play it low enough. See if I move it down an octave. 
And you get those pitch bend effects because if you look at the harmonics here, you see they're all weird because it's not a harmonic series, but here it is the harmonic series. So all of them are bending. In some cases, like the timpani, some of them are probably going up, some of them are going down. So you get those kinds of uh, interesting sounds. So you can do that with a, like a pluck sound if you want to make something more interesting. But uh, let me turn this off and I'll show you a different way you can do this. Additive here. And this time, Let's not worry about a uh, pluck sound. I just want a sustaining sound, but let's think about like almost like a, a some sci-fi effect. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I have uh, the B, leave it here. I'm going to move it down an octave so it's really low. And then I'm going to change the attack time so it's really high, like maybe a little bit over a second, almost two seconds, like this. So now I'm getting all sorts of, you know, like weird sounds and things there. Uh, we can try with different things here, tubular bell. All of them will sound slightly different. You can try with instruments. Uh, some things I did, I used this additive weirdness where I had this is like saw plus 100. Uh, I forgot what I did here. I had a saw, and then I moved everything up. What was it? An octave after it, like this. Yeah, saw minus 100. Scrunch saw. I forgot how I made this, but I think here it's larger, and here it's... Uh, the carmacks are closer together. Let's hear what that sounds like. So I think that sounds pretty cool. Actually, I'm kind of curious to hear what that sounds like in reverse. So if I moved it here and then I did this, I wonder what it sounds like. So you can come up with something like that. And I'll show you, I guess, one more. There's a few others I came up with here. What was it? Zeroed where it starts with just one harmonic and then expands. So all of these are playing the exact same one, which is why I need to turn the gain way down. And uh, you see all 32 are right here at the root, and then they expand into the saw like this. Actually, I like that a little bit slower. Move this. Well, there's actually one I like even better than this one. Instead of having this zeroed, I have another one called Move to Center that I made here. You see, it's the exact same thing. It's just up, like, what, five octaves? So it's 60 semitones up. So let's hear that. That's way too loud. Turn that down. And actually, in that case, I probably wouldn't even want it stopping at the very bottom, like somewhere close to the bottom, like this. I'm getting a little bit silly there. But you can see how there's all sorts of interesting effects you can do with something like this. Also, if you think it's too sharp, sometimes changing this initial phase to random will randomize all of these so it won't be quite so in your face. It also creates some stereo width if you're into that. That's like something you'd hear like in an old, you know, 1960s or 1970s sci-fi. So if you want those types of sounds, this is how you can do it. I hope this gave you some ideas of things you can play with yourself. Uh, if it did, you know, give me a thumbs up, leave me any questions or comments down below, and check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Till next time, see you.